Let's convert between uh, logarithmic and exponential functions. So here's a little explanation on how they relate to each other. And then I kind of have this, this thing in green as my model that, that helps me keep it straight in my head. So I encourage you to use this model if that helps. Um, so exponential and logarithmic functions are inverses of each other. Um, so that if b to the x equals y, then log of b of y will equal x. And the assumptions here are that uh, b is greater than 0 and not equal to 1, and y is greater than 0. OK. Um, here's really kind of the thing. Here's, here's the rule that helps me keep it straight, though. If 10 squared equals 100, then log base 10 of 100 is equal to 2. In other words, uh, log is asking the question, um, to what power do I need to raise this base 10 in order to turn it into this, 100. And the answer is 2. I raise 10 to the power of 2, and I get 100. So let's use this basic relationship to convert between logarithmic and exponential functions. Uh, so if it's a log function, then we'll convert it into an exponential function, and vice versa. All right, here we go. So ln, uh, that means natural log. And that is log base e. OK, so if it says natu ln, that means log with the base of e. If it just says log, you can assume that it means log base 10. OK? Um, so natural log of x equals 2. So I'm going to rewrite that just to help me keep it straight. Log of base e of x equals 2. OK, so that's saying, uh, what power do I have to raise e to? to turn it into an x. Um, so uh, in other words, so log uh, or 10 squared equals 100. So log base 10 of 100 is 2. So this is in this format. Where it's, so it's log uh, base e. So if I want to convert this, I could say e, the base, raised to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2 is equal to x. All right. Well, so let's start with an exponential function. Um, 2 to the x equals 7. Um, so again, this would be like this. 10 squared equals 100. Um, um, OK, so, so log asks the question, to what power do I need to raise the base? base be 2. Uh, to what power do I need to raise a base to turn it into this number? So turn, turn it into a 7. Um, and this is the power I need to raise to, to and turn it into, to turn it into 7. All right, so log base 2 of 7 equals x. All right, let's try another one. Um, log, and there's no base here, so uh, the assumption is that it's log base 10. So log base 10 of x plus 2 equals 6. So we could say um, that means you have to raise the base 10 to the power of 6 to turn it into x plus 2. So that is equivalent to saying um, 10 to the power of 6 equals x plus 2. Let's see how much easier that is to solve. 10 to the 6, uh, you could convert that, you know, 10, uh, 1 with 6 zeros, and then equals x plus 2, subtract 2 from both sides. All right, let's do one more. Um, 3 to the power of x minus 8 equals 27. Um, so that's equivalent to this. Um, so log base 3. Of 27 equals x minus 8. Right? So um, log is asking the question to what power do I have to raise 3 to to get it to become 27? And the answer is x minus 8. So 3 raised to the power of x minus 8 equals 27. Um, see how it goes both ways like that? So uh, here's the model. Um, 
and this is easy to remember, you know, 10 squared is 100. Um, that's one that's easy for me to memorize. So log base 10 of 100 equals 2. Uh, so this model will help you convert um, any kind of simple situation like this into a function type of your choice. Uh, sometimes it'll be easier to solve it as a logarithmic um, equation. Sometimes it'll be easier to solve it as an exponential equation. So, all right, good luck.